ladies and gentlemen we have now witnessed the first triple eviction in the big brother niger lockdown session <laughs> colony badge wathoni right -o. please leave the lockdown house immediately Sunday and before we go into the eviction show, let's just talk about what happened before the eviction show. An hour before the eviction show, Big Brother Kolo, a housemate, showed apparently Kidwire was, you know, doing the middle finger to the camera and he said that was disrespectful and rude to the viewers, gave him a strike, gave Erica a final warning, I guess because she was beside him, I don't even know. Anyway, they took the rule book and started trying to read while they were making up for the eviction show. So, dressed by Tiva Bespoke, Ibuka came on stage and said hello to the housemates, called Ozo, told him congrats on being the head of house for the second time, asked him if there was something he was doing that was, the housemates could learn from and he said no it's just grace and he asked him how he felt about Tolani Badge and Prince so I was like yeah when you bring girls and guys always people tend to be you know attracted to each other he thinks they're attracted to each other I said did you do you think Prince actually likes Tolani and he was like yes I think so because he talks about how he said it the other day ETC and then he said um, do you think there's a third party like he really wanted to bring out information from Ozo Ozo was like another girl because I said, it could be another guy because I've heard Tolani say she likes Neo and everyone just there laughing okay he went to Dora and said Dora with the red hair pretty hair she said thank you he said Dora, same question I'm asking you. What do you feel about Watoni and Bright? <laughs> Dora was like, I'm not in their room, I don't know. He said, Are you happy for them? She said, Why won't I be? And then everyone started laughing again. And then he called everybody in the house, like literally, <laughs> Ebuka just said, Tolani, Titi, Kidwaya, Erika, Prince, stand up. All 12 of these housemates are standing up and we were wondering what was happening. That's how he said, okay, the viewers have voted. I guess who's out of the game, Tolani Baj. It now made sense why he started asking a question about Tolani and Prince. Because really, that's still just so many other things happened. And yeah, Tolani's out of the game. Let's see who if any other person goes out. Guys, so yeah, Tolani was on stage and then she talked about her plans, her YouTube channel, showing Lagos to the world and stuff like that. Ibuka said, so are you going to a relationship with Prince? And she said, yes. Say you really like him. She said, yes, that when it comes out, we'll see what happens. Ibuka asked the agenda, so how about Neil? I heard a conversation with Erica yesterday. She was, she was like, why don't you tell me the conversation Neo had with Erica hey, because I'm not asking the questions and she's like well no no comments no comments no comments so guys apparently there's some liking of Neo in, in the corner there so we don't know how that's going to play out obviously now V is even confused V already said Neo you are embarrassing me only you Nengi now so Lani <laughs> Neo was like hey I'm just chatting I'm just stop that chatting he said so should I stop chatting with Watonia as well you know so V is already no V now she doesn't even take all that nonsense anywho Erica came back to the house and asked Titi what he thought about Ozo and Nengi Titi was like that's just a situation she said what do you mean by that that you know are they not supposed to uh, Titi said well what, how do you act like a couple but Nengi says something else so she doesn't even understand and maybe Nengi is trying to hide her feelings but him is also confused you can now say that ah, is the confusion kid wire titi said mm, not really that kid wire is just being kid wire we know in the house so any other thing that is really happening it can't be him trying to spoil any relationships and then Ebuka evicted the second person guess who's left Watoni. this is lo a long time Watoni's leaving has been a long time coming i'm sure so many people are excited she actually just picked up you know being nice and interesting and fun just this week she, she said like him bright and stuff like that so good luck to both of them at least they will have a good time doing their media sessions together let's just keep looking and see if they will evict any other person guys today. so yeah talani was on stage and then she talked about her plans her youtube channel showing lagos to the world and stuff like that ibuka said so are you going to chase after the relationship with prince after this um after he gets out and she said yes say you really like him she said yes that when it comes out we'll see what happens and then Ebuka asked the agenda, so how about neil that i heard a conversation with erica yesterday she was she was like why don't you tell erica the co why don't you tell me the conversation neil had with erica and because i'm not asking the questions and she was like well no no comments no comments no comments so guys apparently there's some liking of neil in, in the corner there so we don't know how that's going to play out obviously now v is even confused v already said neo you are embarrassing me only you nengi now so lani <laughs> neo was like hey i'm just chatting i'm just stop that chatting he said so should i stop chatting with watoni as well you know so v is already no v now she doesn't even take all that nonsense anywho erica came back to the house and asked titi what he thought about ozo and nengi titi was like that's just a situation she said what do you mean by that that you know are they not supposed to uh, titi said well what, how do you act like a couple but nengi says something else so she doesn't even understand and maybe nengi is trying to hide her feelings but him is also confused so Ibuka went back into the house and it asked Erica what she thought about V and Neo man basically the girl was just saying she didn't really care what happened he asked her ah, ah, but you encourage Olani to you know she now said okay they are the strongest couple so she expects Neo should have asked V to be his girlfriend by now 
Every girl that said that, but you're the one that, where, you know, you were encouraging to anyway. She gave you the gist about her, her and you uh, trying to be looking at each other from a corner. Erica said, well, Talani is my friend. V, she's not my friend. So I was just telling her, she I asked her some questions, told her, you know, but V is being not your friend. Talani was like, well, Neil and V are still just friends. So anything can happen. And then I was like, cool, of course. She now said, so do you care about V and you know the relationship? She was like, no, V is not my friend. I really don't care what happens there. Then he went to Lekon and said, Lekon, so what do you think about Kid and Erica? That one was still trying to dilly down. He now said, speak, bro. And Erica was like, well, it, as long as you're happy with what they're doing, I don't really put my eyes there. I don't really see there. He now said, but you told someone behind that Erica has tried to kiss you. He now was weak. He now said, um, it was when she was intoxicated, so she didn't know what she was doing. The kid, so maybe that's why she can't remember because Erica's face was really like this. And when, when, because she has said, But was it just once or it was a couple times? Say yes, a couple times. Eh, Erica said, Leko, can you start also, Can you start telling me when I tried to kiss you? And then uh, he was like, We can't talk about it now. Dora was like, Yeah, we'll talk about it after the show, during the show. <laughs> after the show. Oh my guys, if we can really start that table on this study interview, this was the most impressive one, and I love it because now. V would know that her new are playing. She would know that even Tala is just very messy. Uh, Kidwaya is not even talking much there, you know. They're just so let's just see how the show ends. So, guys, I forgot to mention, I talked about it during the recap for the week regarding Pepsi. They added more, so they gave Nengi and Prince 250k each. Yay! Week six in the Big Brother house was filled with a lot tons of emotional ups and downs relationship drama let's not forget a lot of money was won this week to give you a recap of the important events that happened from monday day 36 to sunday day 42 today so on monday everybody had a diary session with big brother as usual asking them you know the reason they evicted who they evicted everything was just normal people just talking about how they thought some people were stronger and they brought them up you know just a lot of surprising excuses also asked them how they intended to finally win a wager game because in the past two weeks they hadn't won and everyone said you know it was never just up to the task so they were going to be helping each other wear your mics on time don't whisper you know just those little things that they've been getting strikes for everyone was so ready to help each other make sure they don't break any rules in the house anymore it's monday obviously there's a head of house task which they carried out and prince was the first person to go on this task and for some reason some of his addition was incorrect when big brother told him to redo it and obviously redoing the stage where he stopped you have to make sure you get a six again so that just killed his game at the end of the day also won the head of house title and prince did not take this funny at all he, like he was so sad just complaining that he has just been having a lot of near misses this task you know he was just down he really didn't know how to take that like a gym because to be honest guys this is the third time prince is actually getting so close to it and then losing it even big brother mentioned this they can imagine how painful that was maybe next week you can walk towards next week and i can root for for you from the beginning and just shout your name he's someone who likes to put so much effort in everything he does so yeah he didn't find out funny at all obviously um Ozo chose nengi as deputy in the big diary session he said dora will be his next person if nengi says no and v will be the third next person so as at that monday big brother already brought out the wager task for the housemates because it was going to be kind of a long and dramatic one he wanted them to choose someone who was their hero in life make a painting to kind of describe the story of the person but i think the story and um the person who they chose was way more important than what the painting was going to be but yeah he just made everybody do the painting that was it for monday and then tuesday came okay first of all in the morning lucy woke up really early as usual then she had a conversation with prince where prince was trying to explain to her what Tolani said, you know, when Ibuka asked Tolani why she didn't like to work with Lucy and, you know, Tolani said she was, she felt Lucy was very hard to deal with. So Prince was just saying that, uh, that Tolani said you're a very nice person, you know, that even when you guys fight before she knows you're already saying come and eat, come and eat. Lucy said, yeah, I don't really take a lot of things personal in this house. And then Prince was just going ahead to explain that Tolani didn't really mean what she said. That first of all, it was even Kidwai that mentioned her not being, her being difficult to work with. Funny enough, Lucy is difficult to work with. I'm sure she knows. So Prince didn't really need to do that. But you showed a bit of care and um, a bit of... I don't know just nice things like being a real friend to tell her apart from boyfriend or whatever it is they're doing that just felt nice that he went you know behind tell her everything just explained to lucy that uh yeah she was even asking me if she should come and talk to you you know and then this was like no i'm fine it's fine it's fine i don't carry things in my mind like that and then they had the indomie tasks so this indomie task they were supposed to kind of represent their culture and then cook indomie in with an ingredient that kind of represents the culture so they were divided into i think they're 14 now so seven teams of two each once they were done they presented the indomie and then big brother 
ask the partners to taste each other's indomies once you taste you write the score over 10 of what you think your partner's indomie you know how good it was and how they infused their or your culture you know in the indomie at the end of the day as usual last year the same thing there was no winner after presenting everything indomie would just give everybody you know some this year indomie gave them four million naira for everybody and how they split it was obviously equal parts to each team but it was a twist to the way the money was given for instance watoni and kidri kid gave watoni seven over ten and watoni gave him ten over ten so big brother said those scores you give your partner that's the score you're going to take so someone like watoni now took like 300k and him because of his seven took about 200 and something you guess so it was just nice the way he twisted because people were so miserly with their mouth i really really loved that twist and everyone was kind of happy that evening because at least everybody got money earlier that day also nenge and neo were just and neo was just about one of the times he went to Calabar for a one of the carnivals all of it so the nigga was like i was there and they said like recounting what happened and everything so it was just crazy like neo just shouted two of them hugged each other it was just nice that they had actually met before but they didn't even know you they were each other and I can remember them, I think it was when they were contesting, so they all came with like uh, mopos and everything, just bodyguards and you know, they took care of them and there was a dance company. The shot just recounted everything that happened and it was just nice day. While they were talking, um, I think also had left or something and then Nengi farted and Neo just started screaming, I heard it. I, she now shout to him, don't tell anybody the story. Neo shout to obviously, V saw them talking, so V asked what happened and Neo told V and later they told Ozo, it was just one very long drama. At some point, he even said I smelled that thing again later, Nengi said yes, it was me, that I had just been farting today to be honest. And yeah, and that passed. Later that Tuesday, the prince gave Tolani a massage, Rosha just doing his best with the thing, just trying to make sure the massage came through and yeah. Those ones are just doing fine right now. Me, uh, Watoni and Bright have been sleeping on the same bed for a minute now. So that particular Tuesday night, Dora slept on the bed with Lekon, but just as friends, you know how Lekon just come and you be just in him. So she just tried to explain to Lekon how she doesn't want a guy to be a problem, that she saw Watoni has just always been marking Bright. She just left it to them that she doesn't even want any drama with all that fighting with a girl that she, she just left. She doesn't have that energy to be chasing a guy up and down the house and she notices that Watoni actually puts energy. It's always nowhere bright is from eating together, just eating together. She doesn't have that kind of strength. She wishes there was someone but there's nobody. So while she was just talking, Lekon slept off and she was just playing with his hair. It was a very friendly thing, nothing intimate at all and she slept off as well. So Wednesday came with the big task we have been waiting for which is the Pepsi task. I love Pepsi task. There's no struggle on help us do an ad or like Pepsi rolls with big boys and girls that's successful in life already you get for their ass so they never they don't need anybody to know their name because you already know like their pepsi whenever they come they actually keep the housemates well they give them normally one these other brands come they give them a t-shirt highest they have but our pepsi brought everything like down to shoes like really funky shoes that dora was really saying she's going to auction whenever she leaves the house they were about to start also asked for someone to be the mc according to big brothers there someone had to obviously guide the event because it was beautiful like see the set everything was so nice it was basically supposed to be a burner boy album long Lunch, listening party twice as tall so it was just gorgeous like Pepsi just came through Lucy was just not pleased with her kid at all like she just wasn't pleased with him and being a partner so she just started to keep on a very sound but kid actually pushed himself to still try and learn because the song he chose was his friend's song DJ Copy's Green Light with Techno Lekon was Whiskey from Prince and Nengi did a song I can't remember which song they did and then um, Tricky C and also did um, was it Techno's one yeah I think so and Neo and someone else did Burner Boy. So everything was actually okay. Oh god, GJ Spinal, the girls, V and Talani. I really loved it, but at some point they just started losing like the choreographic uh, beauty of the thing. So in the end, guess who won? An all expense pay trip to Dubai on fest. Also and Tricky C. Oh well, Tricky C fell on the floor because you know it's Pepsi and Pepsi doesn't give you guys two million for the world for two people to share pepsi gave them two million for two people to share so chikiti already banked one million of us he's getting close to two million from his other winnings and he was excited like Chiki, well, everybody was happy for chikiti because besides the fact that they they rehearsed so well they performed so well he was also the mc of the day and they just just crowned it he just won also obviously just took it gracefully he was it was just lovely so they won that one million each a trip to dubai for the event polo organizes one africa event and then a year supply of pepsi so it was beautiful the night ended well obviously prince was sad again because he thought he, nengi his partner didn't put enough effort she wasn't even singing enough he thought he was just the one that did everything the choreography Maybe she was nerv nervous on stage. Okay. And again, um, Pepsi heard everybody screaming on Twitter. Earlier, Prince and Nengi had won a puzzle challenge for the Pepsi thing before they started the main challenge. 
so Pepsi promised to give them the trip to Dubai, the free trip to Dubai. But I don't think they've actually told them in the house. I don't know, maybe on Sunday they'll tell them. I don't think he knows yet. But yeah, that was something Pepsi just said on Twitter. Yeah, well, I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Pepsi, for that because we know you're generous and you actually beautify people that Niger every year. First, the, the materials for the task for the wager came and everyone was painting, painting. Everyone was just nice. Everyone was painting. Erica is such a good artist. Like the way she mixes colors, the way she knows what colors, like not just primary to secondary colors, like she'll tell you how to mix green and brown and they add white and it turns to pink you know that kind of like <laughs> mixing and someone asked her how come you're so good with finance did you study finance in school and she's like no the person i dated before was an artist so he's a teacher but she's more she's better at portraits and landscape painting not really human drawing and painting and hers was really really nice then Guatoni started singing because obviously she had son was her hero so she was singing and everyone joined her it was very you know very lovely task some people were so lazy to paint like also they gave some other person to help them do part of the drawing and yeah at the end of the night look okay, it was just this conversation with Tolani Baj and Prince I think he didn't want to give her a hug or something or she wanted to give her and then he put it where she said why won't you hug me I want to give you a hug what's going on nothing going on the end of the day they presented everything everybody's story was actually really like down aside from v and kid wire every other person had like this really sad, like tricky story like as we were listening eh, the housemates were even crying even you watching it you would have felt so bad like everyone and you know how niger like if a woman has not suffered they've not even started we'll see i learned from ug and i also learned from Dalu as well talani Baji's one were her sisters because obviously her parents were not understanding the creative parts of career she was going to take so crazy things happened later in the evening so before then kidwai had had a conversation with erica just saying that she complains a lot and he doesn't think like he's been the best person to her blah 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 so maybe they should just calm down or break up you know Erica did not react, she was just like trying to understand like where he was coming from now saying that okay you're saying and you know I complain about these things have you ever even changed them Kidwaya would just be like okay okay like he wasn't just responding you know when someone is not even down to be intimate and too deep emotionally like he was just very on the surface kind of friendship playful obviously he's attracted to her kind of level well, so that happened I'm embarrassed. I feel stupid I'm embarrassed. disappointed so they went for the arena games and Kidwaya won the arena games and the big brother now addressed the wager told them they had won the wager also, also has actually been ahead of house when they won the wager two times now clap for also there's something really amazing about also when he's focused to do something he does it so well everything he does even toasting he does it so well it's just that he's not that kind of like bad boy swag kind of person he's that kind of good well-mannered you know culture that has home training kind of guy but people that also said it was gonna be a treat for them they're gonna have barbecue so they went into the kitchen and saw the barbecue thing it was not barbecue that was made already they had to make it themselves so obviously lucy ah uh, lucy was so excited because she had been wanting to make barbecue she now went into the kitchen to start arranging things and then later a kid came into the kitchen and they were just explaining how he was also going to do it. like there's no problem in two people doing but the way kid came in i think when she entered everybody had left and the way kid came everybody entered or something funny she said and she, she thought they had all ganged up to kick her out of the kitchen for kid to make it so she just got angry no listen once she gets angry nobody even changes her mind she just went to the room he said ah dora came down no no that that's never what happened so like, anyway kid she said that's his thing they should just bring in paprika garlic um olive oil like he's ready to make the thing in fact this friday was all about this relationship drama everywhere talani badge and praise basically those ones have just gone through a lot this week obviously from ibuka asking Prince that question on Sunday. It wasn't your first choice. I would like to disagree with the fact that you said that she wasn't my first choice. He explained it to Watoni later that Tolani was never, there's not like a second choice, that he did not have any choice at the time. He was just, you know, just talking with the girls and stuff that him and Nengi even showered in the bathroom together one time. But if it was something, if there was anybody he wanted to get, you get. She feels that I'm only coming to her because I'm no longer in good terms with Nengi. I was like, no. This is the girl I want to be with now, you know, and we had, Watoni was just listening to him. Also had a conversation with Trikiti and Trikiti was like, even after Ibuka asked that question, that she thought there would be, he thought there would be his fighting gnashing of the thunder fire brainstorm, but uh, I think was so cool even Tolani told him you answer the question well you know so everything had actually just been fine then him and Tolani now had this conversation where Tolani was he was telling Tolani that he actually tries to do things to make her happy and she's like so how do you know you like me I try to do things to make you happy there was something you said about my head that this is the way I now do because of you I guess two of them are just very skeptical about everything like 
Talani just doesn't want to be looked as like a fool just because of the way they started. You know, people that started like we being focused with each other, it's easier to put a bit of your energy in it. But Talani is a bit, and they don't. And even P said he doesn't like PDA that much, but he tries once in a while. He actually kisses her when everybody is there, like Peck and stuff, and all that eating together. They don't really, really do it. So I guess they are still just trying to understand themselves. But then again, Talani was talking to Erica when Erica came to bring her own drama. That. I don't know if we're compatible, you know, that there's something she just expects, but it looks like it's a long thing for Prey, so she doesn't know about compatibility. So Erika now brought her gist to Talani that how Kidwaya said, I don't know why she was just re saying it because she was now she was now saying her feelings that she felt so rejected when he said it. This was things we were guessing. While she was telling Talani, it just sounded somehow that she felt so rejected, she felt so stupid. Kid said this, kid said that, that you know, it was just a very horrific scene and apparently she was drinking origin before that time so while she was doing that Lekon came and she was just explaining to Lekon how um, Opie is not like is that as if he hates her also not going to be mean to you and you know that V comments about praying to God and Lekon was like no V was just being a friend to me even me I would advise myself to stop talking to you and things like but I don't hate you yeah they continued later again after so many things happened and they had this unnecessary hug he was just trying to hug her, like standing, and she just bent his neck and shot a hug. Like it was so obvious she was vulnerable that evening. Anyway, before the second hug thing, she at some point she was crying. Chikiti and Prince now came. That what is wrong with you, Erica? She's like that this boy broke up with me. Look at me. She actually feels like can do anything. And then later, Prince now dragged Kidwaya that he has never really spoken with him, but let him just act like a shrink. And then they just started talking. Who do you like? Or more? The boy just going up, down, up, down. Do you like someone? Are you interested? Do you want to take it for you know just simple questions like this? Omo I was just explaining how his family never had love, this, that, so he doesn't even know how to express himself. Clearly, the boy doesn't really want anything that deep with Erica. And then um Trigiti just said we should just leave them to go and sleep. Tomorrow morning, everybody will know where their heads will be at. And at this morning, I don't know how they woke up, but right now everybody's just cool, just just staying. Erica, whenever she drinks, like she's just a hot mess. And then Ozo and Nengi, I don't know what Ozo was just overdoing. At some point, Nengi was like, please, I want to sleep. I don't know whether he was trying to kiss her or trying to do any kind of stuff. That way, he just holding himself, especially at night. He always just doing nonsense. I want to see. Can you just let it die? He's not touching now one kind of funny way from another bed. He's doing some kind of annoying things. And you know Nengi, she's not there to have any relationship with anybody. So she likes, obviously, like she she tells him things like, the house can never be the same without you. Yeah, because we're always hanging and we know we have each other's back. But she's not ready for anything intimate. I don't even think Ozo is her type in any way, shape or form. So just just irritating when Ozo was just there that night disturbing her. She was just like, I want to go to bed. I think what annoyed Nengi was because Ozo had given Dora a peck, obviously. She doesn't want anything from him, but then again, girls now will always still get jealous when something just little happens out there. So that was what was actually annoying her. And also just trying to overdo things with um apologizing and just being on her bed and trying to I don't know what he was doing because they were under the sheets, but she was very stern about her. Leave me alone. I'm actually very drunk. I'm just trying to have composure. Like I literally stepped guys, woke up at 2 a.m. These people were still awake. A lot of things, all these things I'm telling you about happened at like 2 a.m. <laughs> So the rest of it woke up on Saturday and yeah, they've had this revolution plus task. I'm not sure who's going to win, but right now I'm still watching it. I'll tell you who won the task. So that's about 250,000 naira each for the housemates. Guys, it's night time now. It's about 2 a.m. And Erica is still in this problem with Kidwaya because he drank juice from Dora's boobs and then did something with Nengi just standing close to her. Well, they've kind of settled the because already on his head after so much that argument. I'm just so tired. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Share this video with your friends who are not able to catch up with Big Brother every single day. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.